Here's a session I did the other day, three-year-old pit bull, dog aggression and reactivity. I'm gonna read you what he wrote. Okay, the main goal is for her to socialize and coexist with other dogs. She's done it in the past and I feel that she can definitely do it again. She'll ignore dogs and be obedient outside, but if taken inside with other dogs, she wants to bite and attack. This guy's gone to many different trainers. None of the trainers have got this dog with other dogs, right? It's been a lot of obedience. The dog has really good obedience, but it's all obedience. No one has got this dog with other dogs. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what you're going to watch. What you're going to get out of this video is two things. What I want you to get. One is a lot of body language stuff from her and from the other dogs. You guys are always asking for more body language videos. So this is gonna be a good, good one and I'm gonna break it down. The other thing is the process. If you have a dog that you are unsure of, what is the process that you, that you should do, okay? That's what I want you to watch, my process. I'm not doing the process I do with this dog and with all the dogs for fun because I thought it would be a good idea. This is the process that has worked over the years. And there's a lot of thinking behind the process. We're gonna go through that process in this video. But don't like go, oh, well, I'm gonna skip this step. I'm gonna skip the leash step. I'm gonna skip the fence step. I'm gonna um, skip the muzzle step, whatever. Can't skip steps, steps are in there for a reason. So we're gonna do some original audio because you're gonna learn from what I talked to this guy about. We're gonna go to the original audio now and then uh, I'll be back at the end of it. Let Prince out, please. Good girl. You are a good. Do you like this chicken? Do you like this chicken? Oh, you love it. You love it. I'm ready. Oh, he's out. You can go see your friend. Come on. Do you see him? Look, there he is. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. Prince, do you even see him? Do you see him? You want to see your friend? Come on. There he is. Huh. Sugar. Look. 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 Yeah. You don't even care. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and let Prince out, please. I'm ready. There he is. Yeah. He's your, he's your friend. You wanna go see your friend? You wanna go see your friend? Yeah. He's a nice boy, isn't he? He's a nice boy, isn't he? Yeah. Get smelled. Yeah, he's, he smelled you. Bro, she looks great, man. Prince. Prince, Prince, I am going to, so good. So what was that process? There was meeting through a fence of which she looked good. She didn't do anything really, but she bought herself a ticket to meeting him, uh, not through a fence. She has not earned her way off this muzzle though. We don't trust her enough. So the process was meeting through a fence, looks very good. Prince comes out, continues to look good, so she's gonna get off leash here shortly. Also, you guys can't tense up when the dog is meeting on a leash, okay? Now, the leash is a little tight right there, but for the most part, you always keep the leash loose. We have to see the trigger of him petting Prince. That can be a trigger for a lot of dogs. They can be really good, and then when the owner pets Prince, they get bad, or when the owner pets their own dog, they get bad. That's why I tell them to pet her. Okay, now she bought herself off because she looks so perfect. We're going back to some audio. I think she's best buds with him. Now, there is a problem a little bit with um, the shock, the, prompt, the E being used in that uh, I've seen many dogs like be good and then not be good right. because of that association. So we got to be careful still. She's so strong. Look at her. Look at her back. Um, but that was really great, man. If we can do that with another dog and another dog and another dog. Yeah. I agree. Like, that's the beginning of it. Okay. 
Perfect. And then triggers and then teaching you and then inside that inside. It's a whole thing. But making friends is a big deal. Let me ask you a question. Does um, because I think the small dogs obviously bring a prey drive out. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, Does playing fetch encourage that? No, not really. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, look. I've seen both sides of it. Yeah, but yeah, I think you're right with prey drive. Prey drive will often transfer to anything running. And he just ran, and she didn't care. But it's not a small, fluffy thing either. He's into her, man. I don't know. Is she spayed? Yes. I don't know why. Some dogs he's just super into. Prince. No. This is hey, good, though. Leave it. I know. It sucks. It sucks. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go up. We're going to do almost the same thing. And we're... We're gonna keep doing, we're gonna keep doing dogs. So she's looked awesome thus far. New dog, female dog, female to female can be a bit different. Meeting a prince is one thing, meeting of another female dog is another. So we go back, take a step back, go back to kindergarten. We're not just gonna let this dog roll out and meet her head on. She's, we gotta go back to the fence thing. So she's meeting her through fence. Do you think she has uh, bought uh, we, she's earned her right to meet this dog uh, out. I think so. So we're going to let the golden out and see how that goes. How does she look? She looks good. Pretty disinterested, actually. Um, disinterested isn't always good. I mean, you want a dog to be engaged and want to meet the dog and play with the dog. Look at the tail. Big happy wag. Big happy wag. She looks great. This dog looks so good so far. Just almost perfect, really. Look at me, I'm ready. If she does anything, I am ready to give her a correction and walk the other way. Give her a correction and walk the other way. But she just looks perfect. Okay, back to some of the audio. I see why you have hope. Like I asked you originally why you have hope. I see why you have hope. She looks really good. Like really good. Yeah, you love them. Hey, leave it. You love them. I'm about to stand on. And she really doesn't get like that overwhelmed. I mean, she's pretty confident. <laughs> Let's see if that triggers something. I don't think it will though. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Prince, 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 leave her alone. It's enough. She looks so good, man. That's good. Keep keep telling me what you think might happen. Owner, owners know more than they're given credit for. All play, dude. Like so good. Like, you know, legs out. So she's being so good. She looks so good. Everything looks near perfect. So why am I not taking her off the leash and then eventually off the muzzle? Why? One, she's really rough. She's a rough dog. She's so strong and she's so rough and she uses that muzzle like she'll come hit it on our legs. And I usually say, don't ever let a dog do that. But this guy's really good about kind of being the boss. And so I don't need to give him a pep talk about don't ever let your dog hit you with the muzzle because he he's in his life he does a good job and when she comes hits the muzzle on his leg she does he does a pretty good job so it's like I don't need to talk to him about that because he's already doing it pretty good that's just her she's just rough she's rough with her head and so I can't let her off leash because even play can get too rough for some of these other dogs not for Prince but for these other dogs that can get too rough so that's why the leash is on. Okay, why isn't the muzzle off? There would have not, there was never anything bad up to this point, but she's been trained with an e-collar. You've heard my opinions on e-collars. I do not mind them for a lot of things. Coming, basic obedience, even to some degree leash reactivity, I don't mind them. I'm fine with them. I don't use them, but I'm fine with them. Here's what I don't like when they're used for dog aggression. Dog looks at the other dog, growls, and you hit the button. I don't like it for that. 
Low level stuff's a little bit different, but that's not what's always done. High level stuff is often done. And then you start to not be able to trust the dog. So muzzle's not coming off with other people's dogs. That's just my rule when it comes to e-collars. I've seen dogs turn, be good, and then not good too many times. Now, he said, and I think you heard the audio, um, that the dog is not good when he goes in the house. He's, done, he's tried to socialize her with other dogs many met her his friend's dog so he'll bring the dogs into the house after a walk and then she gets bad so that's why we come into the office how does she look though she looks great she's just rough we want her to play with prince um, we want to see triggers as you uh, like you guys sometimes not you guys but the very occasional person is like oh print you let prince be so rough with the dogs i let prince be rough with them on purpose because we need to see in a controlled environment what the dog is going to can handle can they handle roughness can they handle being mounted can they handle a dog trying to pin them let's see it in this environment because people want their dogs to be in the real world and this stuff will happen in the real in the real world now it doesn't mean i let prince like pin a dog all the time but i want to see rough stuff so that's why we let things go so this is, the, so the process so far has been meeting through fences, meeting on leash. We'll give a, I don't think I've given her a single correction for doing something wrong because she hasn't done anything wrong. She's been perfect. This dog is wonderful. Um, being smelled, she's great. Um, owner petting other dogs, she's great. Owners or dogs being rough with her, she's great. Dogs running next to her, she's great. These are all triggers that will, trigger a dog we've seen almost all of them look at look at how good she looks so now we're gonna go i think we're gonna let so she has met two dogs first through a fence right which is the best way to do it but we got to step it up so now we're just gonna open the door and let another dog through no fence meeting just boom dogs right here so meeting just Right away, dog's here, I'm ready. That's the first time we've done this. How is she? Meeting another female and dog right in her face, okay? Right in her face, look at her tail. She looks great, confident. She's very confident. She looks great. There's the first dominance we've seen, okay? Oh my God, this dog's like in her face. Bro, she looks so good, man. Look at her. This is all like, even if it's not perfect, like that's certainly not perfect. Push that one off, push that one off. Hey, um, it's still like in the realm of play. It's, there's been no open mouth anything. Like there's not even been a little nip. That's not, I mean, this is, this is what it is, right? It's dominance or, and roughness, but there's, hey. Lily, it's nothing with the mouth. So that rough. She's rough though. Like yeah. she's a rough smeller. She's a rough player. She's rough. She's strong. Uh-uh. Hey. But there's been nothing with the mouth. Okay. And that's really good. She's been the worst with this one. For sure. And if if the shoe's off leash and off muzzle, I mean we'd be grabbing her because she can't come up. And we'd be nervous too, because she's like kind of kind of stiff and like right. bold. Think Shoot she from just over there, needs please. To learn how to continue to play and just chill. Yeah. You know that's the that's the this is the most dog she's been around off leash, hundred percent. I mean, sorry, not off leash, but you know what I mean. Indoors, With for sure. oh, indoors. Oh, she's so rough. Not so rough. She's a little rough, like that. Hey. Enough. Like, who knows? Good job. Good elbow. Who knows if that's even bad, but it was a growl. It was a growl. This is her best friend. This. All right. She is now off leash with her friends in the pool area. When dogs get wet, they get nutty. When dogs get nutty, they get rough. So we've got to be careful down here on how rough she is with the other dogs. But she looks great. So the process, I think you guys are learning the process. Through a fence or a gate. Use the side gate at your house. You know, a lot of people have side gates to their backyard. Use something. Us, uh, glass doors don't work. 
They need to be able to kind of touch noses and smell each other, right? Then the dog, you trust the dog enough. It's been good enough through a fence. Then you go, okay, let the other dog, let the dogs together while your dog is on a leash. You give corrections for anything bad until the dog goes down into the side corrections. And then you eventually take the dog off leash. Then once the dog is good off leash, you take the muzzle off. Once you take the muzzle off, dogs are off leash, off muzzle together. Then you stand there. See how I'm standing right there? You stand there in between the dogs and you let your dog, your reactive, your aggressive dog know that the boss is here and you're not messing around. And when you see anything you don't like, you clap and you go grab the aggressor. That's the process. That's what I wanted, partly what I wanted you to get from this video. The other thing is body language and when to correct and when not to correct. I let her get away with a fair amount of stiff body language and this owner had in the past kind of tightened up at moments when she's stiff like that. So part of what I talked to him about is she's so good, I wanted him to just be chill until she does something bad, right? In the future when meeting dogs. Because after this, he's his homework is to go, he's gonna come back in about a month, but his homework is to meet dogs. This dog needs to meet dogs. This dog is so capable of meeting dogs and being so good that that's what he's got to do. He's, I, he's got friends with dogs. He's got to do it. Okay. So she looks wonderful. Wonderful. Now we're going to just do a quick conditioning of the gentle leader. I don't remember if he had used it in the past or not. I put it on. I'm just going to start treating right away, building up that classical class. Um, classical conditioning response to the gentle leader, a lot of treats for it. Why the gentle leader when she walks so great? Because she does walk awesome with him and with me. Because if he's going to relax, when this dog is meeting other dogs, you need to control the head. That's the other thing that's not talked about with the gentle leader very much, is you can relax and say, yeah, meet that dog. And then if your dog does anything, you give a down and to the side correction and the head is being turned away from the other dog. The area with teeth is being turned away from the other dog as opposed to the neck and their teeth can still get there. And so it, what it allows you to do is relax. All right, meeting another dog, different dog. Looks like the last dog, but this is actually a different dog. She's like all stiff. She's just kind of over the whole muzzle thing and whatnot, but she looks good and I'm relaxed. And we just let this dog out. We didn't do any fence meetings or anything like that. And then some audio. The gentle leader will let you relax like 80% more. Yeah, that's your friend. You want to see your friend? That's your friend. God, she looks so good, man. I'm not saying she doesn't do these things. I get it. I just have not seen anything. I have not seen anything bad except for sugar and some of the dominant stuff. And the rough stuff is the pit bull stuff almost. It's not even like bad. I feel like if that's I, rough. You know, yeah, go ahead. If we let that happen, that's just gonna be. It'll grow from there. So yeah, should, I agree. You gotta shut that down. I tr I agree. Which we really we kind of did, but I kind of didn't. Yeah. I wanted to see her like get worse. Oh my god. I know. 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 I know, I know. Do we have one? Mm -hmm. No. Just board and trains. You're too rough, sugar. You're too rough. It's hard to stop roughness. Like you can pick a point, like when she was up on sugar's back. It's hard to stop just general roughness. It's like me telling, like trying to change someone's nature is hard. We can pick a behavior, eliminate that behavior, but just overall roughness, that's tough. So you guys just saw a quote unquote aggressive dog, a dog that has had bites with dogs in the past, meet five dogs. The process is the process. The process is why this worked. Okay, there could be other reasons, but the process worked. Why not follow the dog meeting process that I outlined in this video and you see in all my videos, why not follow that process when you see video evidence of it working? I know it's not easy. How do you find dogs? Maybe you don't have a fence. 
but do it to the best of your ability. That's it. Don't forget to um, comment on what you see, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and like the video, please.